Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, March 19, 2024. I pray that you are all doing okay. And I pray that as you continue to look to him who is able to keep you, I pray that his favor will continue to be on your life and on your family life. I pray that you will continue to seek him daily. And as you continue to seek him, I know that you will find him. Our reading today comes to us from Matthew chapter 6, reading from verse 19 to 24. And it says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye, if therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? 24 and last. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for another portion of his word. And as we listen to the reading this morning, I believe that the reading is very clear to us that God must be the center of our lives, that he must be first in everything. The Bible says that we must store treasures in heaven and not on earth. Because when you store your treasures on earth, that's where your heart will be. So, when you put your money into the bank or when you buy a nice car and your house, do not set them up as gods in our lives. They have their place, yes, but they must not hold center place in our lives because they will not last forever. And if we become consumed by material things and by and by material gain, then it will be difficult for us to serve God because what? We are so caught up in the fast track of the world that we have no time for God. And what is more valuable in this life? Is it material things or is it the character of a man? Think about that. And so the Bible encourages us that we should what? Store our treasures in heaven. Because the treasures that we store down here, thief can steal them. You put your money in the bank, you may lose it tomorrow. You buy a car, you might get robbed tomorrow. You buy a house, it may burn down. Or thief may ravish it. So, all that we have on this earth are vulnerable to what? To the elements around. But when we store our treasures in heaven, there is no vulnerability. Our treasures are secure. Now you ask the question, what are those treasures? And my answer to you is a good character. Now, what does a good character consist of? Love. We must be kind. We must be God-fearing. We must be 
patient. We must have the fruits of the Spirit. These things, these, these precious treasures are what we are to store because what these we will take onward into eternity. They will be with us forevermore. Your car is not going to be with you forevermore because either you are going to die and leave the car or the car is going to die and leave you in a manner of speaking. So, what is important here? A relationship with God. That is what you need to build on. That is what you and I need to formulate. That is what you and I need to prioritize. Because God is the one that gives us these material treasures also. He is the one that bless us. And he did not bless us for them to become idols and gods in our lives. He bless us because he promised us that he will give us the very best and that he will prosper us as he see fit so he's only fulfilling a promise or his promise to us that he made now our eyes can be very covetous our eyes sometimes lead us in a direction that we don't need to go the scripture says that our eyes is the light of the body so what we see with our eyes that information is fed through our retinas or eye and then it is registered in our mind and then it what it stay there and it become something so it becomes action or it becomes a thought and something that we desire because think about it if you don't see if you have a car right the car is working fine but then you walk past or you drive past and you see a new car it's a little bit better than your car that you have but you don't need it and you are willing to put yourself out put yourself in debt maybe you're not even finished paying for the car you have no but you are willing to put yourself out starve yourself more debt on you just so that you can get that car now that is evil against your own self that is not right you now you have become a slave to material things because it's not a need that you have that's a want and a greedy want at that you understand so these are the things that the bible is admonishing us about and it also and tells us that we cannot serve things and serve God at the same time. We cannot serve mammon and serve God. We cannot serve our money and serve God. We have to choose. In fact, even if we don't choose, we still choose. And often time, the option that we choose is the material things or the treasures that are on earth and not God. And so we have to make a, a choice. Are you for God or are you for the things of this world? And don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you mustn't have nice things and I'm not saying that you mustn't have a home or you mustn't have a car. That's far from what I'm saying. What I am saying and what the Bible is saying is that what? These things must not consume our lives. They must never become priority 
in our life they have our place because yes you need a house to live in and yes you may need a car to get you from point a to point b or whatever so these things they do have their place but some of us we are so wrapped up and tied up and tangled up with these things that we have no more space for god you know i have i have a friend of mine that that work at the bank and there are times when he used to work late and i remember he was sharing with us one day and he was saying that he will be at the bank like one two o'clock in the morning doing a late shift and people would be calling from their bed to find out if their millions are still in the bank no you tell me if that is sin so you are going to lose sleep to check up on your money in the bank do you think calling is going to make a difference if you're going to lose it so you see what i mean so this is what i'm talking about being consumed by material things we should not allow ourselves to go that far do you understand and so when we store our treasures in heaven there's no thief that we have to worry about our treasures are secure in the bank of heaven and it has interest growing on it so you get more interest than the bank give you right it is well secure you have countless security and you are well insured so you have much more than you you would get at the physical bank hmm? you know in the time that we're living in you have to buy insurance for uh, practically everything that you have and even when you get the insurance there's no insurance because what Sometimes a lot of these insurance, they, they only protect you halfway or they just give you a smidgen. So you spend all these money to insure the product or to insure your things. And then the insurance today say they can only give you this amount. But that's not the point of insurance. So you see what I mean? So when we are caught up in material things we poison ourselves we poison our minds we become covetous we become as they would say bad mind we we will do any and anything to get these things because what that's where our heart is and when our heart is born on earth it will be it will be difficult for us to go to heaven so i pray this morning that the holy spirit will give us wisdom that as we seek to make a life somewhat for ourselves while we wait for the coming of the lord may we understand that we are only pilgrim passing through and therefore we are not supposed to be setting up permanent roots down here but understanding that yes some of these things we need to survive but our focus must always be on god amen so may god continue to bless you and may he prosper you and may he continue to give you peace and your family have a wonderful day. Amen.